to see the ship coming up the harbour with these three large cranes on board and all fully kitted out with the innovation that we've been looking to develop these last few years has been great. Finally, this was like our baby that's coming through and I, I was, I don't know how to put it in words, but it was really exciting. This is a new uh, third berth. Uh, container wharf. Because we've got a new wharf, we can build it stronger, and so we've been able to get these much more powerful, stronger and larger cranes. We purchased them from ZPMC in China, Shanghai. We've had a fantastic relationship with this company over the years. We're all ZPMC cranes at the ports of Auckland. So we manufactured this crane in Shanghai, in Changxing Island. Uh, we elected it in the island, and with the same like the loading, we roll on the crane, and then we took the ship from the ship, and then we took to Auckland, and then we roll off. Getting the cranes off the ship, it's it's quite an exercise. There's a lot of gear that is required to be laid out on the berth, and 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 there's a sort of a bridge that's built across from the berth to the ship side. Yeah, so uh, it's transferred on rails. So we first have to have cross rails which transfer it from the ship to the shore. Then we have to jack it down and then uh, they are then on temporary rails and then we slide it down a ramp onto the permanent rails. Um, we have a special team so generally we use only 10 to 12 people to do the unloading. But also we have people helping us, local people who are specialists to assist them. We also have the wharf civil engineers because the wharf is designed and built in New Zealand and we have those engineers checking it, that it's all um, good and working well. 